oops sorry guys uh, i forgot to show you how to calculate the position line and that's why i'm just making part two of the previous video so i'm just going to attach it with the previous video here so you can see my question was that i was trying to solve a longitude by chronometer question and you will see the video is there along with this video uh, so i what i did was i solved this question here and i took you through the solution and i showed you how to find the gha declination then the truth and distance and finally the p p which is equal to lha and then gha and then applying the longitude uh, to rather got the longitude conceptually as well as numerically but how do you calculate your position line to calculate your position line uh, you will divide a uh, tan of latitude by tan of p uh, which is p is equal to lha of course and latitude is given to you in the question as 10 degrees and 11 minutes the p is uh, lha is given to you as for, or rather you calculated it as 47 degrees 21 minutes 47 degrees 21 minutes right so you find out tan lat divided by tan lha and you will get 0 0.17 all right ignore any negative sign if you get any and i have stuck to two decimal places you can go more if you want to then you name your n uh, rather name your a a is named north here why because here a is named opposite to latitude unless your lha is between 90 and 270 now your lha is not between 90 and 270 it is 47 degrees 21 minutes so you will name it opposite to latitude your latitude was south 10 degrees 11 minutes south so you will name a opposite to latitude which is north then you find out b b is equal to tan of declination divided by sine of the lha put the value of the declination and the lha in the formula and find out your b again ignore any negative sign if you get any and i have again stuck to two decimal places you again name your b b is named same as declination all right name your b same as declination so this is declination was north so your b is north now to find your c if these a and b are both same names you will add it in this case they are both the same names 0 0.20 plus 0 0.17 will give you 0 0.37 and you name it north because you retain the name of the larger in this case both of them are north so you will name it north all right then tan of azimuth equals 1 divided by c times cos of latitude you know c is 0 0.37 you know latitude is 10 degrees 11 minutes put it in the denominator solve the denominator first all right solve the denominator first look what i have done here solve the denominator first put the value of the denominator first then divide one by it what you get is tan of azimuth equals 2.74597 i have again gone up to five decimal places take tan to the other side make it tan inverse of this value tan inverse of this value will give you a value of 70 degrees but you see i've written north and west next to it so how did i name this well north comes from name of c so whatever is c i will name it the same so name of c c is north i have named it north west comes from lha all right now is lha west how do i know so if i go back up i can see my lha value is sorry my lha value here is 47 degrees 21 minutes right so if my LHA value, if my LHA is between 0 to 180, I call it west. If it is more than 180 to 360, I call it east. Now because my LHA value is 47 degrees 21 minutes, which is between 0 to 180, I will call my LHA west. So therefore, my uh, azimuth is named north 70 west, which is equal to 290 degrees. Why? because if this is north and this is west and this is 360 and this is 270 if i am going north 70 degrees west somewhere here so this value will be 360 minus 70 which is 290 degrees so therefore my true bearing is 290 degrees and to find my position line all i have to do is minus 90 plus 90 to my bearing so if i plus 90 to 290 of course it's 380 but it cannot be more than 360 so 380 minus 360 will give you 20 degrees 0 to 0 degrees and minus 90 from the true bearing will give you 200 0 degrees so your position line will be in the orientation of 0 to 0 to 200 0 degrees 
all right so that just that just basically means this looks like this all right if this is west and this is north and your bearing is 290 you go 290 and you draw a perpendicular line to 290 the orientation of this line is 020 to 200 all right that is what it means so guys sorry i missed uh, this section in while i was solving the last question um, but i hope you will watch it together and you'll understand which question this is if not then my apologies all right so let me know what you guys thought about this video i have made uh, videos on long background before as well so please watch those videos as well you will find the playlist at the end of this video go through the playlist watch all the videos on the celestial navigation practice as much as you can to enhance your knowledge and become very good in this subject all right let me know if you want me to solve any particular questions happy to answer your questions if you want me to bye guys see you soon and study hard